how do I develop or how do I become learning oriented rather than money oriented? That is the question. Well, how do you become learning oriented? Well, it's kind of hard because a lot of what we do is driven towards some sort of reward. And the reward for a lot of people is money. You know, I, and just to kind of help you understand what I'm doing, like I'm making a YouTube video while I'm doing a Periscope, right? Uh, I'm creating content for the web to help people, right? That's number one. I'm also learning this process of learning how to be on Periscope and create a YouTube video at the same time. It's actually quite difficult to do because when I go back to edit this, it's going to be very difficult for me to edit. It was going to be difficult, more difficult than I had thought if I did not do the Periscope because Periscope's a little distracting. Um, but learning, to become learning oriented, you just have to find something that you're really into. You know, like for me, for whatever, you just got to find something you get obsessed with. Like, and what's the biggest example that I can say is, uh, like, I got into deadlifting for some reason. You know, I really did. I just, I don't know. I used to run, I ran a, mar a few marathons, and then I, I wanted to deadlift 500 pounds, and I got obsessed with deadlifting 500 pounds. And all I wanted to do was deadlift 500 pounds. I sort of knew that I wasn't going to make money. I already knew I wasn't going to make money off deadlifting 500 pounds. Uh, I think I, I am going to, not not literally, but for what it, what I had to, what it required of me, how it changed me, being able to be that strong, to to develop the skills, to deadlift 500 pounds, it made me feel amazing. The thought process, the learning process, the mental toughness, the the st strategic uh, kind of viewpoint on how to do this. So really, what it is to become learning oriented versus money oriented is they're really one and the same thing. So. Pick something that you love. Okay, I got a question on here. What advice would you give someone is overweight and they're first starting to work out? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, that can be answered so many different ways and if I had to answer it, I would say the best way for you, if you're just starting out or for anybody, is to two one. There's two ways. There's a kind of a non-exercise way and then a, an exercise way. The first one is obvious. Just get started. I mean, there's really nothing you can do. Walk, push-ups, walk, sit-ups. You have to start moving. Once you start moving, things sort of take care start to take care of themselves. Like me, like I decided this morning I'm going to do this periscope, like literally on my way to work. And I'm going to make a YouTube video. You know, I mean, I was going to do this this morning. So, you know, you just kind of you just go and then you, what happens is you learn. The second thing is fix your head. Like there's something in your head something between your ears that's sort of like locking you down and you need to find out what it is what it is like I had a client she want her goal she's 65 years old she wants to do a pull-up and she wants to work out five days a week and then she says to herself or she says to me I got a bunch of excuses that I have to make I, I keep making these excuses I keep making these excuses and I'm just saying don't use excuses I mean I don't even know how to work with your excuses because there's they're not definitive they're not accurate they're not it's like it's in the clouds you know, so what I mean by that is that there's no counteracting. So what do you say when you don't want to go to the gym? She says, I'm too old. That's one of the things that she says. And then I say, can you give me some reasons why being too old is not a good reason? And then she says, "That's it's ridiculous. If there's any reason why I should work out, it's because I am old. <laughs> you know, and I didn't even, I didn't give her that. I kind of knew that, but I didn't answer that for her. She answered it for herself, you know? And most people are lazy. Actually, everybody's lazy. I mean, it doesn't matter. No matter how fit you are, you're lazy. You know, you're, you're, you know, a lot of what we do is so automatic. We're so automatic with things that we don't even, sometimes we don't aware, <laughs> we're not even aware of our own fucking bullshit. You know, I'm, just realize that you are lazy, but you just recognize why you're lazy. You know, I mean, so I'm, I'm like a Mr. Efficient person. You know, like, after this, what I want to do is I want to go work out. But that doesn't make any sense because I need to get these videos, I need to get them edited because if I don't edit them now, uh, two reasons. One, efficiency. I'm closer to where I'm going to work in Panera Bread. Number two, which is a coffee shop. Number two, I'm gonna, that's actually a more important question, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget the editing order of these videos. And, and if I do that, I know that if I don't edit these right away, I'm gonna forget all of them. Uh, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be very difficult for me to go back.